doesn't look very graceful. I'm eating it. I mean, it's not done in soup. Hi, all. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, happy Friday. Today I am going to afternoon tea with Brandy. She decided to take me out as a way to kick off my birthday month. Also she won't be here for like a good chunk of the month so we're gonna celebrate my birthday today by going to afternoon tea. Yay! We generally really love tea, especially green tea, but I think we're gonna be trying some new stuff today. So yeah, that's gonna be super fun. But we'll see you inside. <laughs> Yay, happy early birthday to my bestie. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm treating her to afternoon tea. We're doing a bestie date because we, I decided that Danny takes her out too much and now it's my turn. Okay. So <laughs> we're doing a Parisian afternoon tea at the Dragonfly Tea Room in Modesto. Yeah. yeah. This is technically also for our Valentine's Day. Yes. <laughs> so it's kind of a two in one. Yeah. <laughs> So we're celebrating each other. Yes. That's just me. And we haven't done this in a really long time, like just us two doing something like it's fun and cute. So we're <laughs> gonna So we're doing a Parisian afternoon tea. Let's see, for the savories we have French onion soup. We also got some <coughs> Coke Monsieur tea sandwiches, some gateau. For sweets we have lavender macaron. Chocolate pot thick cream. Okay, we also have some nano limes, profiteroles. Ooh, profiteroles. We got some scones, this vanilla rose heart scone. And tea. <laughs> I'm laughing at the macarons because. I know, I know. <laughs> we'll have a discussion about this. I just think it's funny because we've been like trying to make them and then so. Do you have a love hate relationship like I do? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think next time we'll tackle it. So there will be a future video of us accomplishing it. Last night, Danny brought home a macaron from work. I was, I was in this like love hate. I was just like, oh, it's so good. Why is it so good? Why is it so perfect? Oh, I hate this. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> I saw someone made homemade ones, and they were like perfect. And I was like, well, not like very perfect, but quite. It was very smooth. And I'm like, how did they do? That? I know. How did they make it so homemade. smooth? So I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, the ones I ate yesterday were homemade too. I was like, how did you even get this so smooth? I literally cannot see a single grain of almond flour. Like, it's okay. Whenever we make them, it tastes good, and that's mostly what matters. <laughs> also, side note, you know the um, the recipe book you got me for Christmas? Mm -hmm. um, so in Epcot, you got me the Epcot recipe book, right? We actually did get a macaron while we were there from the France Pavilion, and the macaron was amazing. And then it just dawned on me the other day, like, we wait, is the recipe in this book? And it is. Okay next project. <laughs> I already forgot what tea I got. I got a purple papaya berry, yeah. right? Or an herbal tea, and what'd you get? Sweet nothings, which is like apricot, something, and lavender. Yeah, you had some like fruity no. stuff. Yeah, wait, no. no. What was the first one that you said? Apricot. Apricot, makes sense. Not <laughs> okay, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll get, get the mix. Yeah, but we do our tea and sweet, and so I think that's a big difference too. For your savories, you'll be having your French onion soup, which is right here. Okay. Your croque monsieur tea sandwich, which is right here. Your gratin sandwich, which is a small one. And then your salad, oven raw. And for your scones, you'll be having your vanilla rose heart scone with lavender, I mean, with valley cream and strawberry jam. And then for your sweets, you'll be having lavender uh, French macaron, and then your chocolate pot de creme, your madeleine cookie right here, and then your preferred girl right there. Thank you! <laughs> It's so cute. It's like it's in this little, little jar. jar. I'm going to have some of this sandwich too. I mean, you can dip it. Yeah. It's good because it has all the cheese on it. I'm going to grab one. I'm going to grab mine. It's so cute. Oh, it's so hard to explain. It's like, it leaves this filler in my mouth, like an oily 
Katie film in a good way from a Katie. It does have Katie texture in the same way. There's the lemon in there. Yeah. Actually, I'm not a fan of olives, but Me neither. this doesn't have an olive flavor to me. It has <laughs> and like olives are generally very salty. So I'm actually looking for the salty. So far, okay. loving the coconuts here <laughs> and the onion soup. Don't know how I feel about this, but I'll yeah, still eat it. I would dip it in the soup because it doesn't have very much salt for me. Okay, mine doesn't have an olive. It tastes better when I dip it in the soup. Oh, it's kind of. I get what you mean by the taste. The I like a bitter aftertaste. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's just a savory cake, but I think it's gonna potentially make it different. Flavors. It does have a weird aftertaste. Yeah, it's like a little muffin, savory muffin. I liked my first bite that I took, the very first one. But, but it's so good. Far, this is my favorite. <laughs> yes. We have bacon and a little bit of cheese and some salad greens. I'm not sure what else is in there, but let's try them. The salad tastes like a bacon Caesar. <laughs> Without like the Caesar dressing though. It's like two bites of salad, but it's so cute. I like it. <laughs> no. In your opinion, which tea do you like better? I haven't tried yours yet. Um, You're so sweet. Peachy. I've had peachy tea before. I like that. I like yours. I mean, I like mine. Mine's on the sour side. I actually like both because they're different. But mine, it's good, but I think it needs sugar to balance oh. out the sour. So it kind of has like that lemonade esque. I kind of like the sour. Yeah. If I had to pick, I would choose yours only because I haven't tried anything like that yet, and mm -hmm. I think it's really it cool. Different. While this is more like my usual. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're still playing James. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is white tea, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh, neither of us got green tea today. <laughs> it's like all the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta switch it up, you know? We already have green teas at home. <laughs> Try something new. This is all about. We're on to the sweets now. Almost. <clears throat> sort of. <laughs> I'm getting it. What shape does this look like? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It is all Valentine's Day themed. <laughs> Different angles? This one helps. <laughs> if you look sideways, close one eye, squint a little bit, cock your head to the side, <laughs> you'll see it. So the scone is a vanilla rose heart scone. Do you guys see the heart? I'm about to grab mine. Maybe mine looks Maybe more heart. I think from this angle, yours looks like it more. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay, you see? Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of lavender on top. So does it taste rosy to you? I think a little bit. Okay. I do a little bit of rose water, so maybe it won't be too bad. I don't know. Oh, not So very red and pink inside. Also, this is a lot softer of a scone than I thought. I'm gonna try it uh, myself. I smell the rose. <laughs> not my favorite. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Like uh, the scent very much fills my mouth. And Do you want to try it with like jam or the cream? Okay. It reminds me of like. <laughs> oh! Should I do both? Yeah, why not? Since Are it's a really strong. I haven't tried the cream. I just tried the jam. I have no idea what Valley Cream is. It covers up that really smell once I bite into it. It's a lot of rose. Just like, I think I actually prefer lavender if I had to choose. So I'm actually excited for that. I was gonna say, um, rose tends to be a lot stronger too, I think. You can have this if you want. Is that just the cream? I'm kind of like with the cream warm. Okay, now I guess I could see why you said it's very strong. I like it though. It's very <laughs> rose forward. Yeah. Yeah. But if that's your thing, then yeah. Yeah.
I'm not a floral girl. <laughs> Just as Anfu. But the strawberry jam definitely makes it better. I think strawberry goes well with rose. I liked it when I first caught the jam with the scone. Mm -hmm. We'll try it with both now and see. Did you have the scone by itself? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's way better with the jam. I think I the jam does make it better. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I actually like it. I wouldn't need a plain. I think it does taste better when you add water, mm -hmm. the cream, or the jam. Yeah. We are doing a seasonal tea, which means that it changes every month. So because it's February, they're doing the Parisian theme, which is like, you know, romantic for Valentine's. So yeah, we're having a romantic day. But on a normal schedule, they also have the classic tea, which is like... I know, because the sandwiches look good. good. Yeah. I saw the sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> if you come here any other time, expect a different uh, menu every month. Their cookies look pretty good too. Yeah. I'm ready to start on that top tier. Yeah, you should. Go yeah. For it. I think I'll like the lavender macaron. I think you. I don't think it'll be that strong. It's so tiny. Okay, this is not a good comparison. Look how tiny it is. It's a lavender macaron, French macaron. Like just regular buttercream, probably. Yeah, it's buttercream. It's very butter forward. But you did a very good job. Because it's so tiny, I think you can't really mess up on it. Like the sweetness. Most macarons you've been like, man, that's really sweet. But it's because we're making them so large. Very good. Mm -hmm. Nice and chewy. Oh, I forgot to look at the texture on top. How's the texture? It was good. Yeah. Yeah, they did a good job. Nice and smooth. Yeah. It tastes pretty good too. I like it. It's not very lavender forward. Yeah. It's just like a very. very hit, and I like it. I like it too. This I like. Mm -hmm. Here is the chocolate <clears throat> pot okay. creme. Yeah. I want to say it's just like chocolate mousse, but let's give it a try. I think so. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very light. I like that. I like that they're doing a really good job on these desserts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, those people didn't eat their macarons. I want to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprising. That's like the most expensive thing on this whole entire thing. <laughs> Probably the most difficult thing to make too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's nothing that exciting. But I think you'll laugh out of it. Get a laugh out of it. <laughs> it's a tabletop scale. Oh, I guess it's, it says on top too. So we've been making macarons a lot lately, and that requires us to do a lot of like weighted measurements. So I have a scale, and we couldn't rely on that scale, right? Because every time we would measure something, it would always come out different. And I think I don't know, it might have been the towel too. <laughs> But when we removed the towel, it still didn't work. Oh, really? Yeah, and then we had, well, the first time it didn't, and then we had to use the bag of chips to, <laughs> like, to, like, tear it or Yeah, something? like, to make sure it was right, because we knew how much the bag of chips oh, yeah. weighed. That's so funny, because it actually has, like, the measurement on the outside of chips, so we can measure it, and if it wasn't right, that means something wrong with the scale. But it doesn't look as cool as yours, but... I mean, if it works better than mine. Yeah, today. that's the goal. <laughs> Thank you, Brandy. Now Happy birthday. The next time we make macarons or anything finicky. <laughs> okay, so I'm finally vlogging myself because I'm on the right side of the table because the lighting uh, where I was earlier was just terrible. Uh, but the reason why I didn't move over here sooner was because uh, this side is where they would bring in the the tea, the the, the stuff. Like they could not have brought that in while I was sitting here. So yeah, but. Yay! Thank you for the gift. And thank you for taking me here today. You're welcome. I'm glad I was able to do that. Oh, yes. And it was so much fun. It was so much fun. We and bonded. Do you want to come back? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We'll do the classic. Or we could do another seasonal. Just, I don't know. Oh, yeah, since they switch it up every month. At some point, we'll definitely do the season or the classic. And then maybe we'll just come every few months for the seasonal. Whenever we have something we like. 
down. Yeah. But right now we actually ordered more tea. Yes. We're gonna get hyped on some green tea. Yeah, we have fun. to end it off with like some type of green tea. It's our favorite. Yeah. <laughs> we both of us did not order green tea up until now, so we're gonna get green now. <laughs> we got more tea. We just got jasmine because that's our thing. But I would like you to try this jasmine because it's actually so good. Oh, this is good. It's, it's just like legit jasmine. It's so good. It's so good. It's like it's so comforting. Like oh yeah, that that's where it's at. But now I'm curious about this vanilla green tea that we got. The vanilla. <laughs> but I was like, cute. yeah. But I want to finish my cup and enjoy this. So, cheers. Here you go. Brandy is about to try the vanilla green tea. Ooh, I can smell it. Vanilla? Yeah. It smells like dessert. <laughs> Do you like it? I'm gonna have a drink it. Yeah, let's see. Well, oh, it's pretty nice too. Yeah? I think I like the chocolate butter, but like the actual because of chocolate. Is it what you expected? It's, it's not. I don't know what I kind of expected, but. I want to try now. Yeah. Wait, I need to finish this. It smells, I think, stronger than what I'm tasting. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's what's confusing me. It's not like, like if you were to not smell it before tasting it. Yeah. I I think it's, it's, it's a slight it's, subtle hint, yeah. but when I smell it, it just smells good. Okay. It would be definitely different if it were sweet though. Yeah, only oh, with this cream. One would be good with cream and sugar. That, yeah, you're right. Mm. I actually think that would be good. Okay, okay. I think so. I think this is just us. We decided to do unsweetened, right? But yeah. everyone else, because there's so many different flavors, when they add the sugar and the cream, it tastes like 100% different from our experience. That's true. Yeah. Because it does make a difference. Yeah. I like how they um, it's pre-made so by the time they bring it out you can drink it right away. Oh, so like we don't have to steep it. Yeah, like the temperature or like the time. Because yeah. there are a lot of other tea places where you actually steep it on your own but like, they like, give you a timer yeah, and all that and stuff. Like, Do I, really pay? No. I just want to drink it right away so the moment you bring it I can drink it. <laughs> well it's also they make sure that it's made correctly yeah. to begin with. Because I feel like I always oversee my tea. <laughs> but that's because we're lazy to take out the bag. <laughs> it smells strong, right? Wait, I know what this reminds me of. Hold on, I will tell you after I smell it. Okay, so this actually gives me like... Um, it's gonna sound terrible, but it reminds me of... Starbucks matcha cappuccino. I've never had it, so I don't know. So like, I mean, obviously the base is like vanilla. Maybe the base is vanilla ice cream, or just like clumps of vanilla with matcha, which is like green tea. Okay. And that's kind of what it reminds me of. If there was sugar in here, it would actually be something like that. Because that's the only time I could think of where vanilla and green tea is together. Mm -hmm. Or it would be like a cake. But I feel like a cake is more subtle. But, Do you like it? Yeah. Do you like matcha? I do. Like a lot? You have a lot of matcha frappuccino? Really? <laughs> Not when you add vanilla to it. I mean, no, it's just a matcha frappuccino, but like, they make it sweet. Not from Starbucks. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've ever had a matcha frapp in general. I don't know if I would. I don't, I'm not a big fan of frat. Well, I mean like, because- I mean when I was younger I did. Yeah. Because I didn't like coffee, it is, but- you know, It's not like you can order, you can't order a matcha frappuccino with sweet butter. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, you know how frappuccino is the base for most other things is coffee. But you, don't, you can't put coffee in matcha. Mm -hmm. So the base flavor would be vanilla. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It can't be chocolate either. I'm trying to cut it, but you know, vanilla just sounds more, right? Vanilla well, it goes with like everything. <laughs> in the matcha color and a matcha frap would not be green, but it is. Uh, reminds me of Alright, that was a very lengthy uh, description, but that's not bad. Here, we can cheers. That's not bad. Cheers. Well, there you have it. We went to the Dragonfly Tea Room. Is that what it's called? Behind us. Yes, oh, yeah. Dragonfly Tea Room in Modesto. Did you have fun? I did. Thank you for taking me. 
we're technically counting this as also Galentine's Day. So happy Galentine's Day. Happy Galentine's. Day. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. you. It's, it's a good been, week. I don't know how many years. <laughs> oh, it's been so long. We shouldn't count because it's going to make us feel super old. <laughs> But we enjoyed our time here and we will definitely be coming back again. Shout out to Gabriella for helping us. Yeah, thank today. you so much. You're amazing, so sweet. <laughs> and we will definitely be back. But until next time, bye. <laughs>